Look at these tubes. I was hanging. They got a really heavy box here from Steiner tractor. Uh, oh. And a bag of Princess Auto stuff. <laughs> Holy schmoly's, that's a heavy little box, let me tell you. I don't know if it tells me how much it weighs. Uh, 12 pounds. I'm just so weak. So I get so much stuff from Steiner, I should probably have an account, but anyway, or get discounts. But anyway, Steiner tractor, I'm always looking for sponsorships. Ugh. And staples. Ugh. It's good they package stuff really good so it doesn't fall apart. Ugh. This made it all the way from Michigan. Well, I think that I even pulled you guys up out of the ground a bit there. Holy. Anyways, uh, well, I guess I still need this. This I'm hoping is a water pump, thermostat, and a couple of hoses. Did I miss one? Oh, I did too. A couple of hoses for the 800. Get the proper hoses for it. I did miss one. They got staple happy. So, oh, and those stupid cowtails. I'll give them to Dylan again. He likes them. What? No offense if you like them, but bleh. Oh, well, there's the thermostat come out with the box. A, B, C. It's easy as 152, right? A lot of you young guys wouldn't even know what that song is, would you? This should be a little thermostat. This one didn't have a thermostat in it, so we're going to put a thermostat in it. We're going to stat it all up. I wanted to see if this has a little weep hole in it. Well, it does, sort of. And where this, uh, um, there's some stuff in it actually. That's probably not good. I might have to get that blown out of there. It's probably just stuff from packaging, but I see a little bit of debris, debris, even though it was in the bag, but a little bit of stuff right down, right down in there. Hmm. Well, maybe it'll work himself out. It's neat how these things work. I don't know whether it's a combination of the spring or what. Or the spring, well the spring's putting tension on it, right? So it must collapse a bit when it warms up. Something pulls and it, you wouldn't think it would work, but somehow they work. And it compresses the spring and opens up the little valve there. See how that opens? And then lets the coolant flow through to the radiator. So it's kind of cool how they work. But uh, I've never scientifically looked at them to see how they actually work, but if you put that in a thing of boiling water, she'll open up for you. She'll probably test that, actually. But uh, anyways, maybe that we will. So there's the hoses. Yeah, they're quite a bit smaller. Wow. Than the one, uh, the one I had made put on it. <laughs> and the, uh, the other one is... The, the lower one's probably fine. Oh yeah, that's way smaller. Well, I don't have the little elbow thing here to try it out, but that should be way better. Nice hose. Good day, tubes. Anyways, that one and then this one here is the... Oh, it looks a little big, this one, but... Mm, I'll have to see, I guess. And a cow tail. Blech. And this is probably the heavy part here. Bruh. Water pump. Can you even see that? Let's put you down in the world a little bit. There we go. Oh boy, she come out of the box almost. That definitely to me looks like a made in China box. Yeah, I don't know. They're getting parts. That's great, but some of them are not as good as made as they used to be, I don't believe. Oh, that's nasty. There's a cow tail smushed on the bottom of the box. Ugh. Nasty. So this, I'm presuming, will need a bit of cleaning. And painting, I brought up my, oh, wow. It's all in like a waxy paper stuff even. Oh. Yeah, I don't see a, a gasket for that, but I'm sure my kit there has one. Well, let's get the old one. Yeah, this is going to all need cleaned and not under here and painted, but the rest of them all need painted. So, oh, that's actually... Test this uh, other one here. The other one goes into the radiator, right? So I don't get my fingers all pinched. Oh, yeah, that'll be fine. Ugh. 
lovely, lovely fit. Lovely fit. Looks like some kind of turbo. Oh, that's what we need, a turbocharged tractor. All right, we'll put that back in there. I don't know why, it smells like pizza. <laughs> kind of weird. Okay, so that's good, that's good, that's good. Let's get the other one there and we'll have a comparison of them, make sure they're all both good. Well, from what I can see so far, it is a little different with, there's like an extra set of bolts on the old one here with this uh, extender where this is kind of all molded into the, uh, the one, you know, and that's fine as long as they're the same height. Should be good, have to have to get that all cleaned up and blasted and painted, I guess, too. Another job for me. And, uh, well, let's get the fan off of here first. They're just screwed right through, I guess, into the housing, which is kind of nice. But, yeah, that one, whoop. A little noisier, this one, right? So, I think that one would be a lot more better. Probably a good thing we did that. But, there is, looks like someone siliconed that at one point. I don't think I'll be able to resurrect this gasket anymore. This definitely looks like some old papery gasket. But let's get this going the same way. Now, with the fan on, this will be the same height, so don't worry about that. And we've got three screws, three little nibbles, four. Should be able to actually uh, kind of match them up. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, should be able to. a little different oh boy uh, no I think we're okay although this one is different interesting everything else looks fine except here but I think I've got it going well, that's not really a good way to test that, I guess. No, this should be fine. Just trying to look at her this way now. Um, yeah, you can see the little impeller in there, too. I never looked at the other one. See the little impeller? Impeller spinning there, the pump part. So that should... Should be good. It only gets half a gasket by the looks of things here, which is kind of weird. But that should be fine. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's good. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're fine. We're, we look good on that. I think. It is a little bit further out here though than this one, but well, she should be all right. But let's get this fan off of this one, anyways, and uh, we'll just temporarily mount it to that one, and uh, well. I think we're fine anyways. Let's have a look here. We got one, two, yeah, one, two, and we got one, two screws, three and four screws. Okay. Well, we got to get this one off anyways. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have to make a gasket for that or there's one that comes in the kit. Wouldn't take much to make one. You just pretty much, well, this is, I don't know, this paper is kind of kind of thinnish. It's got actually got some rusty, slaggy stuff looks like under here. That probably wasn't a good thing. Oh yeah, look at the underneath there. Wow. Huh. Well, huh. But my goal for today is anyways, just to get this guy cleaned up. It's a bit of oil and I'll have to give her some good brake cleaning, I guess. Get her cleaned up and then uh, get some primer to it at least. But uh, I want to get the fan off of this guy too because I'm going to have to... Uh, it's noisy, eh? Can you hear it? Probably not a good thing. Probably a good thing we replaced it, I think. Hey, got it all apart. Might as well, right? Um, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to get this off. Looks like a half inch. We'll get a half inch and pull that fella out. Okay, we're just waiting for the air to build up, and it looks like right there, under these ones, water pump gasket. So that's good. And I'll probably put some uh, black silicone onto her, too. This is quite a kit. It even comes with the front and main seals. Front and rear seals, sorry. Um, manifold gaskets, the rocker, 
uh, tappet cover gasket, the oil pan gasket, head gasket's buried underneath there. Uh, this one right here is for that rocker cover. We might uh, still use the old one because it's not that bad. And it comes with everything. This is like 68 bucks. It's not bad. You know, and I don't know what some of these other ones do, but little wee things. Little wee washer gasket there even. Tons of cool stuff. Sorry you couldn't see all that, but there's all the, all the gaskets. And uh, we'll be digging this open soon here. So... today. Let's see if she's got enough air yet. Oh, no, those are 7 sixteenths. My bad, need another one. There we go. I should have checked that first, I guess, but anyways. 7 sixteenths happen. Fine threads too, eh? Oh boy. And we're fans off. Fan off. So yeah, this is a pretty dry sounding on the bearings. We might pull this guy apart at some point here just to kind of look inside, but the bearings will be all inside of here. So yeah, they're pretty loud. Alright, so let's compare here. Well, the old one's maybe a hair bit higher, but it's got the gasket and all the junk on it, right? So should be good there, I think. And I'm going to go clean this guy up maybe now, and so we'll blast it and prime the fan today too. So yeah, that looks like it's going to fit good. Awesome. We'll take that and do that. And then this has got to get cleaned. Let's break clean the crap out of her. And uh, yeah, we'll get her onto the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Lazy Susan there, and we'll give him a spray. Get some primer on it and might even get to the red today. I don't know. We'll see. And lucky there. All nice and cleaned. Looks pretty good. I found a little crack in it here though. But I don't really want to fix that because one, it's probably been like that for a long time. And two, if you add weight over here, it would probably outbalance it somewhere else. Although I've noticed something interesting with this blade. Look, look at it. Look at it really good. This one my hands on now is a lot thinner than these ones, and I don't know why. You would think they'd be all the same. That would really put it out of balance, I would think. But anyways, I don't know. That's the way it was. That's the way she's going to go back on. And we're going to give her some prime now, and what I'm going to use after sandblasting, you should use this nice self-etching primer stuff from Rust-Oleum. works really good. It smells really bad, but it works really good. So we got some here, gotta shake, shake, shake. Uh, I gotta get this thing out of here for now, just so I don't get stuff on it because I'm gonna have to clean it up after. And uh, we'll give him some priming too. What I wanna do is get this one primed and a uh, couple of shots on each side. Let it harden a little bit between each coat. I don't, I let it dry till it's not, like no shine. Primer doesn't have a shine, but when it's wet it shines. And then I'll give it another dosing. Let that kind of harden up a bit until you can touch it without, you know, coming off. Oh, I missed a bit there. Oh. And uh, then I'll turn, flip it over to the other side. So this is one of my uh, favorite things to do is actually painting. Normally I do it in a, a garage down there with the vent. That'll suck it out and then you don't get it blowing all over the place. So hopefully we uh, don't get too crazy here. Primer has a lot of solids in it though. So you really got to make sure you shake it up really good. And here we go. That should be all right. I've already shook it a bunch. So what you want to do is... On, off, on, off, on, off. Don't on and like that. Don't hold it on because you'll get a big puddle at the end. So, um, yeah, this is normally how I do it, anyways. And just uh, primer, I give her a you know fairly decent first coat until I kind of can't see the metal. Get all your nooks and all your crannies. I actually got really good at uh, painting spray bombs and yeah, we'll just fill that crack full of primer <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to fix that because you would uh, 
put your blade off balance a little bit, even though it probably doesn't make a huge difference. The bearings in these things are probably huge. Hopefully the new ones are good. I'll try to get like the edge now a little bit. Now this isn't super particular. It's not like we're doing a piece for the space shuttle here, so we could probably flip this now and then do it. And it's going to rest on uh, these high spots, I guess. So. See, it's a space shuttle. Self-etching primer kind of bites right into the metal really good. I've used it on all my trailer builds, and it's never rusted. It's amazing what this stuff is. expensive here in Canada, eh? But... This can's probably about 16, 17 bucks. Just keep coating here. This is, I believe, the underside, so the pump will be here because it's got these little locating pins. And I do believe that's what these things here are for to locate that into the right spot. They got smarter later on in the years when they made stuff like this. You can only put it on one way. For the other fans, you could probably screw them up. Don't go too heavy or you'll get runs. It will run. It is liquid. Just want to coat that in there a little more. It's not going to hold with the primer, but it'll help glue it together a bit. Okay, so you can see how that's kind of shiny. If you zoom in there, it's a little bit shiny. Got a bit of sheen to her there, so that'll disappear and it'll just be a totally boring matte color. Alright, so I also got the little bolt heads done here. I gotta give them a quick spray here too. Now that wind's gonna go right on the camera. <laughs> That's why I don't like doing this outside a whole lot. Put a bit on the threads. We got a bit of extra Loctite there, lock threader. Red locker, that'd be good for them. Okay, we'll let those sit there, and uh, we will get out the new pump, put her down here, and we'll get some brake cleaner and clean her up. All right, so this I have quite a bit of shipping grease on it, I call it. Uh, they just kind of coat them with junk. Can't really feel it, but... There is definitely some on there. It's weird, it's almost like a waxy stuff. Oh yeah, see? <laughs> They've actually got some kind of crappy painted on coating. Look how shiny and clean it's coming now. So we gotta get all that off. That's a bit of work. Guess they expect you just to kind of Kind of just go at it like that, maybe. But it's taking it right off. I don't know if you can see that, but. So I got a lot more cleaning now than I thought I had, but that's okay. I'd rather start and do it right. Might actually need to get. Well, it's coming off not too bad. I'm gonna say some of that Scotch Bright stuff, maybe to scuff it off with. But looks like I got a bit of cleaning to do here, so I'll keep working on this and we'll see you around the bend. Okay, that's not bad. I think we got all the stuff off. Actually, looks pretty nice under all that junk. I didn't do inside here. I mean, that's going to get covered up by the fans. So that'd be fine. Um, yeah, that's all machined out of one piece. I can feel the machining marks, like from the lathe or whatever, and inside especially. They did that really quick, but um, the pump itself, it had a, it's got a bit of rust on it. You know, it's cast iron, so it's not going to stay purdy. But we'll give this a shot here, too. And uh, hopefully I don't cut you. I got you back a little bit because of the uh, spray is getting kind of crazy here. So I don't want to get it too much in the belt area here. But uh, what I'm probably going to have to do is do as much as I can here and then flip it onto this edge and then do there. So anyways, get a layer on it here. The wind's going the other way. Quick! Hurry! There's a center more, that's better. I might be able to get it under here a little bit. 
Oh, what I say about runs? I gotta run. <laughs> I think that'll be good. Uh, a little bit under there, but you're not going to see that. So, um, okay. All right. Let that dry up, and we'll let the uh, the fan dry up. It's uh, on the other end of the bench there, and then uh, maybe. The wind would just die off a little bit more. I might do the red today too. Let that harden up a little hour or two here, and then we'll do the do the red maybe. But uh, see what happens here. Shouldn't take too long outside to dry up. Well, while that's drying up there, while we're letting her get some air, we'll uh, show. We got a Princess Auto the other night there. We got a new. Hopefully, it's good. Hacksaw. Hacksaw because my other one was just crap. I don't imagine that's a pretty good blade on there. But anyways. I got another little thing of blue Loctite. I use that a little bit. It's not very much in those, it's only six milliliters, not very much. I got a little switch here, whoop, a little switch for the slingshot for when I do the underglow lights. I wanna hook that up to a switch so I can actually shut them off and still run the front lights as the white lights because you're really not supposed to go down the road with uh, uh, lights underneath your car, I don't believe. So, and then I got a set of these Tube cleaning bodily brush thingies. I was thinking the other day, man, you know what? I could use that for something. I can't remember what it was now, but I'm like, I seen it there. I'm like, oh, that's good. I can maybe grab one of them. So I grabbed one of them. And I also got a free shopping bag. They still got about free bags there. Can't believe it. All right, we'll let that uh, primer dry up a little bit there. I got this sleeve. I hear you. They're pretty much cleaned up. Over it with a bunch of brake cleaner and it's it's dirty down into the bore but I mean there's not much I can do about it down there so I pull the sleeve out boom and then I've got to take the whole bottom end off because that would all the rings you'd never get that sleeve back in there because they're supposed to go from the top down right so what I'm gonna try I should probably get some air maybe and just clean out and around where this little lip goes in I've got some of this sleeve retainer stuff from Loctite we're gonna try and uh, hopefully it will do its job now if someone ever has to actually get that out again that's gonna really suck because if that stuff does bind in there it's not coming out so let me grab a bit of air and it's gonna clean around the little lip there and uh, put some on her I guess and away we go all right I don't know feeling this isn't probably going to work, except maybe make it worse. I don't know. We'll see. So, I better read up on this stuff a bit. I don't know how much to use. Secures, studs, pins, slip and press fit up to 350 degrees. Restores fit to out of tolerance assemblies. Wow. Uh, directions. <laughs> Shake bottle well before use. Do some more of that. Clean parts and dry with Loctite primer number blah blah blah. Apply 640 sleeve retainer to both parts and assemble with a turning motion. So, I don't know what the best thing is to do is to dribble some down the side or just squirt some down and just kind of... That doesn't really tell you that so I guess we'll hope for the best and clean up the mess. I don't know if this stuff is thicker or thinner or what but... We'll give her some shaking. $43 for this little guy here. So that kind of was expensive, I thought, but. But neater. All right, looks like we got a little cap thing. Wow, it's like already threaded. Unless that's the, the package part. I don't know. A little thing to nip off the top here, I guess. And I 
knife is very sharp. And I guess I'll just uh, wobble it around. I don't know, I've never done this before, so. Kind of like a gluey kind of stuff. Like I say, I don't know if it's clean enough on the inside of that, but... And I'm not going to tear it right apart. I think that would be a bad deal. It smells like pizza, too. <laughs> or something... <coughs> really strong stuff. <laughs> See this will help. A lot extra there, which is all right, I guess. Get that right down in. Okay, better grab another towel. All right. Now we'll give her a little shot of brake cleaner on the towel here too, maybe. anything off of the top here and I think that takes a while to cure so I better not turn the engine over now but I think this front one was a bit loose too I don't like that movement in the piston but uh, it makes me wonder if these uh, sleeves aren't starting to wear out a bit which I, they probably are But yeah, you're going to need a puller, I think, to get that one out next. And I don't think I'm going to do a whole pile more cleaning. Um, I will clean out all these threads for the head bolts here, though. they're supposed to be solid. Yep. <laughs> this stuff should dissolve any greasy stuff. Whoop. Oh, jeez. I think some have a bit of coolant still in it too, so. Seemed like it was going down in the water jacket here. Oh yeah, it was. Okay, I better not put too much in that one. Ooh. Okay, that's probably good for that. I don't know why they're going straight through, but I guess they just drilled them right through anyways. What I'm going to do is uh, put a towel over these now. Pretty dirty in there. Wow, we. I don't know what it is about the smell of coolant. It just smells bad. Probably because I know it of, you know, uh, an engine um, maybe that mine that had problems and it, it was leaking coolant. And it's, that's all you can remember the smell of. Yeah, so that one goes right into the engine. Wow, that's interesting. So, that's fun. I think this one was repaired though. This was a bigger bolt. And I think
think that maybe they had repaired that one. So I got a bit of that stuff in there, so that's probably not good. Not a lot, but. Man, where would we be without air nowadays, right? I'm running out though. <laughs> A bit of coolant in the front of this one. Okay, I guess that's all the air I got for that. I was going to clean this up a bit more. I might get some emery on it maybe, just to scuff it down a little bit. So i got to do a bit of work on that. Uh, yeah, and then uh, hopefully we can get some red paint going here soon. All right, I think that's probably all I'm going to clean on it. It is smooth and everything. I'm pretty happy with that. We should be able to get sealed back onto there with the new gasket. This is the old gasket over here. And they're kind of rubberized too, right? So that uh, that was the old fella there. We'll be putting on a new one. We've got a new one in that uh, package. Whenever we get to the reassembly part, we got major, major, major problem with the head. So yeah, yeah. Anyways, that's all we're gonna say about that right now. But we also need to clean up in this surface here. For the water pump, looks like there was some silicone goop onto there, which I'll probably be doing as well. And I think I can put this pump back on here and uh, get it kind of ready, I believe. Anyways, I should be able to. But uh, we're just waiting for this to dry up. I might go have a bit uh, bite to eat for dinner. And uh, then we'll uh, get some red going on this feller. And red, you got to do a lot lighter. Lighter coats, so primer. I just because it's got so much solids in it, I just kind of juice it and away we go. But the red, yeah, it's a little different. It's got a nicer uh, spray thing on this one, though. I like them a lot better than well, this one's not too bad, but some of the other ones are like really crap, like this style here on these things. For this, is fine, but for spraying, are just garbage. I hate those ones, they're terrible, they clog up a lot and just junk. So, anyways, we will. Uh, I got that red and I got another one here because I'm probably going to need it. Get those well mixed up. And uh, we'll pour some red to her, but not quite yet. It's still, you can still feel it's like a little bit rubberizy, so whatever you want to call it. So I did these guys because they're not, yeah, they're not so important, but they're, they're ready to go. But anyways, we'll let that dry up and uh, we'll slap her back together. All right, I think we're good to go. It hasn't had any nice bacon sun on it yet, but uh, I think we're okay. I'm just gonna start coating this. Now this is uh, Krylon paint. Oh, where do close? Krylon farm implement. And this is actually Massey Ferguson red. It's really close to the uh, red on the tractor, so that's what I go with. That's what I painted everything else with, it looks good. So this you wanna go light coats. I don't want to go like <clears throat> with this one, but it does have this really cool nozzle, and they seem to work good. So I'm going to try again not to get too much into the, the groove there, but I should be able to get it out again. And uh, this stuff weird, it goes on kind of pink, and then the next coat will be more red. Lazy Susan, that was my stepdad's idea. Really good idea. Works really good. Really, really nice tip on these ones. I like using these ones.
right, that'll skin up pretty quick there. And with the air kind of blowing on it, it's like having a fan, so that's really good too. So uh, normally I'd let that sit a little bit, but uh, I think I'm uh, I'm just gonna keep going a little bit here. I'll get a little bit down inside to keep it from rusting. Let that sit for a bit and maybe put a little bit too much on <laughs> that's all right I'll let that skin up a bit uh, wish I could uh, <clears throat> I wish I could get the uh, fan on here now too I could still move this one I didn't paint under this pulley car horns going off there bud there we go all right so we'll get this on here next you should sand it and scuff it a bit. I generally don't myself. He's going again there, bud. Beep, beep, beep. This one's actually spraying a little strange now. It must have a bit of a clog in the nozzle. You're supposed to hold them upside down and shh until it goes clear. It's just spraying a little bit too pointy. Fine pointy. It's actually better now. It must have unclogged itself. Don't know why there's one fan blade smaller. That's interesting. Alright, I'll let that skin up a little bit and uh, we should be good. I have to go another coat another coat or two on it anyways. Then we got to the other side of the fan too. Okay, I got the uh, fan flipped here now. I think we're. Uh, this is the front side of the fan and the back side first. So I'm going to get this coat and then throw it inside, I guess. That'll be good. Let that harden up. And uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. Give her a little more. Let her skin up a bit. And I will put one more coat on and I think that should do her. Alright, one more one more coat will do her. I didn't even have to get into my other can. Awesome! So the first, I don't know if you can see it, but the first coat is not too shiny. But the second coat is kind of where it all goes. Really shiny then. I had problems with my sandblaster. I'm like, keeps like stop sucking sand. And uh, while well, I was using uh, aluminum oxide, and it was just leaving weird red residue sprayed all over everything. So I got rid of that. Went back to my uh, crushed glass. But it just wasn't working good. It wasn't sucking nice, and you know it would go for a bit, and then it would kind of stop the sand. I'm like, what is going on here? So I ended up taking the nozzle apart the very end of the gun there's a little ceramic nozzle and it was like massive huge <laughs> I'm like oh well that might be what's going on there put a new one in oh it's beautiful now okay I don't think I can get much more onto that that'll do just lovely okay I'm gonna take this inside and uh, we'll let her harden up all right, I already killed the light in here, but anyways, we got our little pointy light. Thanks for sending that in. I can't remember who sent those to me, but man, they're awesome. Anyways, so I got the, uh, I got her cleaned up pretty good. I was messing with, I put a new uh, rubber on here, that little tube, and I was, I don't know, it looks like I've already torn it a little bit. It is such a tight fit in here. And I was just trying to figure out the best way to get it in because you got to put it through this hole and then if you look way down there no uh where am i going here right down there that's the hole that goes into there looks like a little bit of debris down there i don't know how i'm going to get that out 
But I got my little, those little brushes I got, that's what I got them for. Was for cleaning that out. And I uh, got down there and clean, 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 clean. Put a bunch of oil on that little ring. And oh man, it's still a, and then it's in. I'm like, okay, that's good. Took it back out again, and it's like, yeah, it looks pretty good. Put it back in again, took it back out again. It's a little bit of a fight every time. And uh, then I found that it sort of tore it a little bit again there, but I think if I lube it up real good, I clean that in there too, it uh, will be easier to go through the head and everything too. So, work in progress. I'll get her all back together here hopefully soon. And uh, boy, oh boy, and then start working on our ignition stuff. We've got to change it all up too. So, that is the plan. All right, well, there we go. They look like brandy new. They, well, this is brandy new anyways. This is, of course, vintage, but now it looks brandy new. So, all good. All right, well, I guess that's it for today. So, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day. Wait till Friday's video. Oh, boy.